In this video, we're going to take an in-depth look at the acoustic pianos included with Sample Tank 3. So let's go ahead and get started here. First, let's see what you get and we'll go over some basic things. Also, in the future, I will have videos for each of these different uh, pianos here, not these here, we'll get to that in a minute, but each of these different pianos here, like the Baby Grand, the Grand Piano 2, so on and so forth. So all of those will have videos of their own just so you can hear them. But what do you get with Sample Tank 3? Let's look at that first. Let's fold up our piano folder there. And we are concentrating on the acoustic pianos. You go, of course, get electric pianos, organs, all kinds of things with Sample Tank 3. Okay. What pianos do you get? Well, we get a Grand Piano 1 there. Never mind this Grand Piano 1 SE. That's just a uh, sort of reduced sample version there. Then we have the Baby Grand Piano. We have the Grand Piano 2. We get a Honky Tonk Piano. We get the Jazz Upright piano as well. And of course we have eco versions of those. And then we have things like piano layers. Now we're not really going to mess with the piano layers, but if you want to hear it real quick, uh, the idea of piano layers is piano layers. So piano and pad, piano and strings. So here is for an example, piano and strings. We'll just load this up real quick. There we go. And let me just hop back over here. Let me mute this and put this on channel one. Now you hear the strings come in. Right, and that's uh, sort of similar for the rest of these, even like a Hollywood piano one, we can load that up and hit some notes. Okay, so you kind of get the idea of that. We're not going to focus on the piano layers or the uh, Sample Tank 2 stuff, just the ones that are included with Sample Tank 3. And we're going to focus on this grand piano here. By the way, once you know how to use the grand piano one, you'll know how to use all of these because they are all laid out similarly down here, we use a macro in the effects section the same way, our mix page, our edit page, exactly the same way. Okay, but let's go through what we have here. We'll start with the Grand Piano 1, just to sort of give you a little bit of a taste of it and of what is included. So this is built in Hamburg, Germany. My guess would be a Steinway. They don't actually ever say, but let's just hit play here and just hear a little bit of each of these pianos here. Awesome. Now we're not going to go down any further, say the mono pop or the open or the pop here, the trim pad, so on and so forth. These are just sort of variations on the main piano. And you can tell that by, you can see this here is already loaded. So if I just go to load up, say the pop version here, it's going to load really, really quickly. See, it loaded really quickly. We still have 1.17 gigs loaded. If I hit play there, it's pretty much the same. If you look at the effects, they'll probably be a little bit, uh, a little bit different there versus say grand piano one there we're going to get to the effects here in a minute so we're back to the grand piano one now so it's the same piano just sort of a variation and that that holds true for the rest of these so there's a main baby grand a, a main grand two so on and so forth so go ahead and load up our baby grand here we'll listen to this a little bit click the info button there hit play All right, pretty cool. Grand Piano 2, load that one up, just the main one. And there we go. And this piano is built in Japan. My guess would be a Yamaha. Again, they, ne they never really say. We'll hit play on that. So definitely a different sound there. Very cool. And the way the effects work are a little bit different than something like uh, Contact. I've done a bunch of in-depth reviews for a lot of the Contact pianos. And the way the effects work here it's extremely similar, so we don't even need to sample all of these pianos to understand how the effects work in each in each one, okay? Honky Tonk Piano, we'll just slow this one up, just so you can get a taste of each of these. All right, doesn't really work for that phrase, and also, by the way, you also get, with Sample Tank 3, a bunch of patterns, and not just patterns for piano. As you can see here, we get a ton of patterns for piano but we get patterns for all kinds of things. And it's really great uh, that they include all of this. And by the way, we can actually select them and play them right within Sample Tank here, right? So we might wanna find something that works better for our honky tonk piano, which has all kinds of stuff in here. That's what we have already. Click another one. Another one. All 
All right, pretty cool. And, and also, I'll just also mention, this is not what the video is about. This is more about Sample Tank 3, but of course we can load these up within Sample Tank 3. So I can just double click, load that up in there. You can see now I can just trigger it by hitting that key. Of course, I could hit it on my actual physical keyboard and I could actually load more phrases up within this same pattern slash loop spot there. So I could trigger one, trigger the other one. All right, pretty cool. But more than that, you can even do more than that. We can actually grab these phrases here, these MIDI patterns, and just drag them right into our DAW. So in our case, Pro Tools there. And let's go back. We've already kind of heard the, um, we've already heard this piano. So go back to info here. We've, we've already heard this honky tonk piano enough. So what do you say we load up our jazz upright and go ahead and take a listen to that. We'll go ahead and load that up and take a listen to that. All right, pretty cool. And of course we can play our patterns that we already have loaded up here. Very cool. And we can also get rid of those. And we can go back to pattern. And by the way, you can play patterns on piano or you know whatever you happen to have loaded up for your instrument. You can play patterns from anything. It doesn't have to be from the uh, piano. So uh, this probably won't sound good, but I could do that as well. And as mentioned, we can drag this into Pro Tools right there and have that play. All right, let's go ahead and get rid of that. Get rid of that too. And also, not only can we drag them in from the Sample Tank 3 interface here, but we can also drag them in from the file browser. So wherever you happen to install your Sample Tank 3 library to, just hop in here to Sample Tank 3, and in here in Patterns, you'll see all of your MIDI patterns in here. And you can just grab them and drag them right into Pro Tools. There we go. Right? This is very helpful if you have a DAW that... Uh, doesn't allow you to drag things in right from the plugin. Okay, so if that happens to you, if you're using a doll like that, just hop into your file system and you can drag them in that way. All right, that's just a bit of an aside though, but I wanted to go ahead and, and explain the patterns and how to drag them in, how to use them, how to load them up, so on and so forth. Back to our pianos. So I believe we've heard all of the pianos. Now again, there'll be another video showing all of the pianos without me, uh, without me talking. Okay, so let's go ahead and go back to our Grand Piano 1 because this is the one we're going to focus on whenever we go through all of the options because all of your options are going to be exactly the same, more or less. I mean, what gets loaded up by default will be a little bit different, but you can always switch in and out effects, and we're going to see that here in just a minute. Okay, so we are back to our Grand Piano. Let's be go over to the patterns here. Let's go ahead and get rid of those patterns that we had loaded up there, and now we need to look a little bit at what else is included with Sample Tank 3. This is more about Sample Tank 3 than the pianos, but we also have this Mix tab here, and you can see all of the effects that are on our grand piano. And these are loaded by default. You saw I didn't I didn't add anything whenever we loaded this. That's loaded by default. And what's loaded by default will be slightly different depending on what piano uh, you load up, as well as the parameters, okay? So back to the Mix page. You can, of course, go in here, click and choose you know any effect that you want. All right, and you have a lot to choose from. And that's the same for all of the pianos. And of course you have some basic operations down here as well. Then we have our edit page. We're not really gonna get into this because this is more about sample tank three. This can get extremely deep, but you have your polyphony, you have transpose. So if I hit play here, transpose it. Okay, you, you, know, you know what that means. Low note and high note. Okay, so the lowest velocity, the high velocity. Volume, and we have sample, we have resampling, bending the pitch all kinds of stuff we can do in here. Of course, the filter, all kinds of stuff. We're not gonna get into that. We're just gonna focus on the pianos here, okay? So I just wanted to explain that really quickly here. So back to our piano. Let's go ahead and sort of listen to this thing some more. And we have our macro page and our FX page right here that we can get to really quickly. So if we wanted to hear more resonance, pop that up, all right? Turn it down. Make it brighter, less bright, lows. All of this stuff is pretty much self-explanatory. I just wanted to make sure you are aware of them. Onto our mids. 
Just some basic EQ there. We can choose a mid frequency, our highs. And of course the width. Very narrow. And then we have our room. All right, so if you're familiar with native instruments and the way they do their interfaces, this is a little bit different uh, in that these effects can be sort of switched out, which is you know pretty cool. Of course, we have our, here's our EQ comp, and of course you can come in here too and switch out the effect that is in the spot, but we're going to leave them as they, uh, as they are whenever they load up, but you can switch them out. Okay, so you have that flexibility right within Sample Tank 3. So we'll kind of adjust some of the effects now. Compression. Gain, but way down, way up. Onto our acoustic resonance module here. Of course, like I said, you can you can switch these things out if you want. Pull our timber back up. Pull our width down some now. to our piano lid. So you have quite a lot of controls in here. It's a little bit different than the way Native Instruments does it with a contact or with like the grandeur, the Maverick, so on and so forth. But you really have all of the same controls. They're just laid out a little bit differently. You know, we might have to go into the edit page to go in here and mess with some of our MIDI stuff uh, in here. Okay, as, as well. All right. But you have, uh, you know, all the same stuff in there. All right. It's our imager. Very narrow. Very wide. Give a reverse. And then we have a hall reverb. Again, you can you know switch these effects out to whatever you want. It doesn't have to be a reverb. These are just basic things that you would find with a, a, a piano instrument, right? Nice. Of course, like I said, you can come in here and maybe you want to change to a plate reverb. Here's ambience, acoustic resonance there, tape echo, all kinds of stuff you can switch out to here. So here's a spring. I mean, that, that can work, right? We can come in here. So maybe we'll want to switch out to a plate reverb. We can do that. Okay, so you get the idea. Of course, we can turn those on or off here as well. So a little bit different than the Native Instruments layout. I just wanted to explain that because I've done a lot of Native Instruments uh, videos for all of those pianos that are included with uh, Complete 11. All right, we'll go back to our hall reverb there. All right. Okay, pretty cool. So that's basically all I really wanted to, to show you about this. Uh, we went through all of the different pianos there in depth. We heard a little bit of each of them. Again, I'll have separate videos for each of the main pianos here, just so you, you can hear how, you know, how they sound. Again, we didn't go through these because, uh, like I said, they're really just variations of what we already have. So again, we can... Right. So if we go to uh, the Grand Piano 1 Open, it's going to load really quick. Okay, and 
and we'll just take a look at the effects. So a little bit different, uh, but it's it's really just a variation of the uh, Grand Piano, Grand Piano one there. Okay, you can still see it's the Grand Piano built in Hamburg, Germany. You know, you can click on all of these. It's basically the uh, you know same, basically the same stuff there. You can go through the classical if you want to. Very nice there. Add a little more room. Actually go into that. So now we're using this combo room and you can choose a bunch of different impulse responses, which is sort of similar to the way Native Instrument uh, does it there. So go to a concert hall. Pull this down, pull this down. Try this out here. I like that. Pull that on the stereo a bit. All right, pretty cool stuff. So that's basically all we need to see here in Sample Tank 3. Again, you get a lot of stuff. You get more than just the pianos, of course. You get your patterns, and we looked at how to pull those in. We looked at how we could pull them in from the uh, file browser as well, how we could uh, load them up right here into uh, Sample Tank 3. Just click on them and load them up. And of course, all of the different pianos that are included, our Grand Piano, our Grand Piano 2, our Baby Grand, our Honky Tonk, and our Jazz Upright Piano. Okay, tons of options here in Sample Tank 3. And once you know one piano, you'll know how to control all of them. I just wanted to do an in-depth video that sort of focused on the pianos. And in the future, we'll have videos for each of these separate pianos here. Our Grand Piano, our Baby Grand, our Grand Piano 2, Honky Tonk Piano, and of course, our Jazz Upright. So that is the pianos included with Sample Tank 3 in-depth.